Wealth is not created through hard work, but rather leverage. Leverage is when your outputs are disproportionate to your inputs. So a farmer 300 years ago had more inputs per se than a 20 year old on X making 10 K a month from posting tweets. Um, so it's clear that leverage exists in reality. Um, how do you get leverage or how do you use leverage to create wealth for yourself? There are two fundamental things I'm going to be talking about. One being information. So information or the expansion of knowledge within yourself is a great tool for leverage. For example, eight months ago, I had a startup that I would continuously work on the product side and I would work on developing this product, but I never had a lead acquisition system to get people to purchase my product. And that's why the startup ultimately failed. But through that lesson and through that information that I received from that experience, this following project or this X account that I've started, I've been able to acquire three leads so far in only a hundred plus days of work. So I didn't have any difference in the input. I worked the same amount of hours per day and even less of a time crunch, yet I've exceeded the output because of the information I've acquired through the experience. So that's one thing I will stress that you would want to do in your early 20s slash your entire life is that focus on the acquisition of information and skill because that will give you and make you a more higher leverage person and give you the greater likelihood of achieving disproportionate outputs. The second thing is consciousness. Now consciousness, in this reference, I will talk about ego development. So your ego development is basically the way you interface with reality or the way you relate self to reality. So if you're at a lower stage of ego development, you're going to tend to be attached to more material possessions. You will see life as more so a zero sum game where you want to be above another. And in doing so, you're actually putting yourself at a detriment in terms of wealth creation, because if you care about the fancy car and the posting on Instagram and to flex in a club and spending the money, you're going to increase your expenses, especially at your, at, as you're younger. And you can't sustain that. If you can expand your consciousness and dive deeper into what it is those external social status games are bringing you, you'll realize it's kind of a house of cards. And if you're able to do that, if you're able to detach from your identity, not completely, but to an extent where you don't require those material possessions, you can minimize that expense ratio and you can live below your means and not feel in a state of discomfort by doing so and not feel uncomfortable that you're not showing off to anybody because you won't need to show off to anybody if you've expanded your consciousness. And remember, wealth is just the income to expense ratio. So if you can spend your youth learning and acquiring skills and ultimately increasing that, that income, then the denominator of expenses can be reduced with consciousness. And if you consciously don't need material possessions, then you can minimize that. And through that, the wealth, which is, you know, income divided by expenses equals wealth, that wealth can rise and you can use that wealth in any way you want. You can wake up at any time. If you have wealth, you can do whatever it is that you want. You have freedom. That's the true aim of wealth. Um, so, yeah, that's how I plan to build my wealth when I'm young is to just acquire knowledge and skills and minimize expenses for as long as possible until I'm able to have time, locational freedom and create whatever it is that I want without the pressure of needing to continuously work at perhaps something I don't want to work at. So thank you for listening. And I hope this maybe changed your mind or maybe gave you some idea um, into how you want to inform your future. So yeah, if it helps, subscribe and uh, yeah, thanks again for your attention.